Star Trek Online number 11, the USS Avenger. Ooh, nice. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here. Another Star Trek Online magazine and model review from Eagle Moss Hero Collector. This time this is issue 11 out of the 20. This is the USS Avenger NTC 97500. So this looks very much kind of, yeah, it looks, look, it's an interesting twist on a constitution, this sort of maybe sovereignty type ship but um yeah let's have a look so standard normal everyday eagle moss packaging they do change quite a lot of these for each one of these which is nice i mean that's the reason probably why they've only doing a series of 20 so i'm on a, on a catch-up now at the moment so let's get inside as it says it won't come out all of these are mint all these were bought the, the yeah for these next few that i'm posting the next few weeks are straight from eagle moss during a lovely little sale. However, yeah, I do take off the sticker on the on the box anyway. I don't like them being there. I wish they wouldn't do that, but that's fine. 1971, A slash A for Avenger. Okay, get back to the moment. Let's have a look inside the magazine, shall we? Right, so, 20th century, I guess, because online is set kind of very much similar to where the Picard era is set now, which is nice because they are actually putting some of the Picard stuff in to the actual, um, yeah, well, the, the online stuff into Picard. So we'll, we'll look forward to seeing those when they come out. So let's have a look inside the battle cruiser. So there is a battle cruiser, aren't they? I mean, they always claim that Starfleet are non military, but they have battles. Okay, so hopefully you can see this without the glare. If not, there we go. It was just Avenger there. It's very woo. That is um, that is a bathroom. It's like they've got extra padding on certain areas that they don't want to be destroyed. It's like having a mobile phone with a silicon case, but a, a bare minimum silicon case. Mr. Page out there. Hmm. Again, online should really. I should really be playing this more than just getting the models with this. Avenger class development project, Utopia Planitia, bars. Hmm. Some really nice pictures there, but I like that they've got concept art on an online game. Potentially that the nacelles fold up. Don't know. Sorry, I think I've got a bee in here. Just had a buzzing. <laughs> right, so. We might have to pause the video in a second before I show you the actual model. In-game stats there, if anybody's following. So the next one will be a Klingon, the Marta. So, hang on, let's try and see how far I get along with this before I get stung. So, there she is. Same sort of size to what the original Eagle Moss stuff was, which is nice. Very lightweight, this. I think that's part of the metal part. They always have a die cast part anyway. So, size wise, in my hand, yeah, it's, it's pretty much there. Very nice black, white, but the paintwork, I don't know. It's a little bit iffy. But these are the, yeah, they, they, they don't, they've stopped doing the, the online stuff models now anyway, which is, it's a bit of a shame, but I, was, I assumed that they didn't take off as well as they thought. So it looks very much like a cross between the F and the, the, the E and the F and probably the G enterprises, but they're not. I love the decking area inside here. And I'm gonna pause that there while I find this B. And fool on me, it was a wasp. Okay, so <laughs> let's have a look at this here. Let's get it a bit closer. And Get some more detail for you. So we have the bridge section. Where would the bridge be? Ah, B. Yeah, it was a wasp. All right. <laughs> so small phase banks in the front, although the size of this is 425 meters. So kind of like bits, a bit bigger than the Voyager, because that was about 300 meters. 
Uh, a shame the detailing there on the back is only painted and not see-through. Are there any see-through clear parts on this? No, I don't like there is. That side of the ship, that's a big block. Come on, you know, you can focus. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Just tells you the number on there. Hmm. You've got two decks there on the side. Phaser turret banks or extra warp cells on the front? I don't know. Because you've got the same on the opposite corner. More weaponry. This is this is a battle cruiser. Not like it is Federation battle cruiser. As um, the same Star Trek three. Oh, lacking on them um, escape pods. Four there, four there. So crew should be about a thousand, I suppose. It's like the impulse crystal on the back there. Does that say anything? I can't read that. That's just red dots. Some decent detailing work on this. Quite like this. And slopes off to the back to a um, keypad for a chip and pin. I don't know. <laughs> Looks a bit weird. There's no shuttle bay on the back top here. Is the one underneath? No. Fans off like Constitution class should, with more of skate pods all over the bottom. And then the cells, the pylons, more phaser banks. This would really, really give you a bad day, I think, if they attack you. Nice blue. It's like there's something missing there from the centre there. If it was kind of similar to the Enterprise D. But lots of decking. Loads of deck work on here. Hmm. No markings underneath. Which is a bit strange. That's probably why they've got the number on the side there, then. Impulse engines really off to the... No, they're not. They're thrusters. Yes, thrusters off to the side there. Impulse engines really at the back. Come on, you can focus. You can do it. There you go. Yeah, very nice looking ship, this. It's a shame that it's only too small, but they're never going to do these in larger XL sizes anyway. I mean, the, I do want the XLs from the official Starship collection, but... If ever they come around, they will come around. If not, then I'll wait until sales. A minute, at the actual minute now, when filming, I think it's actually finished tomorrow, which is when the video's coming out. So if you're in, on Eagle Moss, keep an eye on their website. They drop the prices all the time. I've got two coming in, actually being delivered tomorrow, with this being filmed on... Yeah, it, there's, a, there's a special and there's the next shuttle pack coming through. They were half price, so it, it makes perfect sense to keep an eye on Eagle Moss. Also, here's a tip for you. Keep an eye on Eagle Moss's Amazon webpage. If in the UK, check out there. I actually saw the shuttle pack cheaper on there after I bought it on the, their own website. So that's a bit weird. So I'm not quite sure why they'd have their own website more expensive than their own Amazon site. There you go. So if you want to buy cheap, go buy. At the minute, they've got the sale is ridiculous. You've got some of the old first lot of, of the official Starship collection for about £4.25. That's that's a nothing for, for, for these models. Absolutely nothing. And I wish I'd started collecting them now. But other than that, no. So again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Consider being a Patreon. Then you can help out to donate for the channel if you want to not do that and you want to give me something to donate anything and everything you could donate some of these that's spare you could donate something that's that's a uh, tech stuff can do with that sort of level of channel as well fine well i'll catch my breath i'll see you in another video bye for now